found a website called niche.com and it lets you leave a review on a town so you can have a better understanding if that town would be the right town for you. So I thought some of these reviews were really interesting and it made me want to ask my Instagram followers too. So I'm going to read you three reviews from this niche site and then also read you what my Instagram followers said. So if you're interested, there's some funny stuff. So stay tuned and we're about to get started right now. My name is Casey Gray. I'm your homegirl broker associate here in Ukiah, California and your homegirl. Did I say that already? Did I say that? I don't know. Today we're going to be reading some reviews on Ukiah. I thought some of them were super interesting and then it sparked me to ask my Instagram followers and that is just a whole nother story. So let's chat. This five-star review from Niche says, Ukiah is a small valley town sitting in the middle of one of the most beautiful mountains, not far from the ocean, but the people are laid back. The traffic is light compared to bigger towns slash cities. Almost everything is in walking distance, yet they have just about everything one needs. I love it. Nice and slow. So that was, you know, lovely review. I do think all of those things are true. This next review is a four-star review. They said, I enjoy living in Ukiah. I came here from LA and living in Ukiah has helped me be able to enjoy nature while living in a dense suburban area. Ukiah High School is great. If you are worried about wildfires, Ukiah is pretty safe. They are redoing the downtown area, so it will look good afterwards. There is a nice walking trail through town. Sure, there are homeless people, but it is far better than LA or the Bay Area. Local folks complain a lot, but it's mainly because Ukiah is growing and changing. Real estate is being bought up by Bay Area folks. Before you know it, it is going to be more expensive to live here. So I think all of those things are very true. Obviously, we don't have as much homeless as, you know, a larger city, but I do think it is comparable to the amount, you know, of population that we have. Um, I do think that the homeless people that we have, though, do kind of stick to themselves. Like, I, I don't think that they are by any means, you know, productive members of like, when I say homeless, I mean the transients. I don't think that they're, you know, productive members of society. I don't think they're really helping anyone out. And it is unfortunate, but at the end of the day, we, you know, we live in California. There are services, and we also live in a town that has, you know, decent weather for a majority of the year. You know, not super freezing and not super hot. So, it makes it ideal conditions for someone who doesn't have a home to live. And so... That's one of the things you kind of have to consider, you know, do you want to live somewhere with such harsh conditions that you, there aren't homeless people, um, but you have to still deal with, you know, snow and whatever it might be. So definitely an interesting review. I do think a lot of Bay Area people are coming up here, especially after, you know, COVID with more jobs turning into remote positions, it makes it a lot easier for them to live in a place further away from the city, but still make a decent income, which allows them to purchase the properties that we have here. Whereas some of our residents that have lived here their whole lives probably aren't making as much money and not allowing them to afford those properties that, you know, some of the Bay Area people are purchasing and, you know, making it a little bit harder. So, Good review, sir or ma'am. This next review is from Niche. It's a two-star review, and they said, It is too bland if the people would like to be in a place that is quiet and easy to relax. This is the place. There aren't any malls here, too. <laughs> I don't know who was expecting a mall in Ukiah. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm glad that there isn't a mall. Um, most malls nowadays are just empty and sad and I would much rather have the wonderful downtown that we have with wonderful small businesses than have a mall. Those were the reviews from Niche. Now I'm going to re read some of the reviews that I posted a question box on my Instagram. My Instagram is casey.realtor. Go give it a follow. I talk about all things Ukiah, personal stuff, real estate stuff, and so let's read these. Someone said, 
Amazing and beautiful, definitely where I want to raise my babies. Someone else said it's lacking kid-friendly and family entertainment. Ukiah is home. It's where my life began, childhood memories, and it's where my family is, which I think is a huge part for a lot of the people that live here. You know, Ukiah is, I think, what you make it, just like any other town is. And you can tell by some of these reviews that, you know, it's personal perception, obviously. Like, the more that you're engaged with things that go on, the more that there is to do. I mean, Obviously, with COVID and such, there's, you know, that makes it a little bit harder. But I do think, you know, if you involve yourself with nonsense or the wrong people or, you know, the bad side of things, then you just get further into that hole. But if you, you know, spend your time volunteering or you spend your time doing activities, if you spend your time, you know, going to the farmer's market, then you're not going to be complaining about the lack of things to do, you're going to be, you know, finding more things to do that are like the certain activities that you're already participating in. Someone said, used to be a great small town, now it's dirty. I think Yukaya is very clean compared to a lot of places. I think it's just a matter of where you spend your time and what you're doing with your time and also what you're doing to try to improve that. As we, a rising tide, a <laughs> rising... I don't know, a rising tide lifts all ships, is that what it's called? A rising tide lifts all boats. So, you know, the more effort we put into making the place better for not only us and our children and, um, you know, future generations, the better it's going to be. Um, someone said a great diverse community, perfect for raising children. Someone said a small town with a big heart. This is my favorite from Lexi. She said five out of ten could use a Chick-fil-A, which I... 100% agree with. Uh, I mean, not the five. I, I would probably rate Ukiah a four, a three and a half star, probably, if I was having to, like, be honest, and maybe, like, a seven out of ten. I do think that we have a ton of amazing things, but I do think, you know, there's a lot lacking in the past few years. We've had a lot of activities taken away from, uh, taken away from us, you know, whether the business closed or, um, you know, fires, you know, things happen. And I do think that, you know, with COVID and such, I keep saying that, but I mean it. There's like a shift in the future and what's going to happen. And I do hope that we will have more, you know, youth activities for the future. But I do think there are a lot. You just have to, you know, get yourself involved in them. Just like there's lots of things to do. Just you have to involve yourself in them. Someone said, so beautiful. We take it for granted. Not many things to do, but we make do with what we have, which is exactly what I've been trying to say this whole time. Someone said, close to the mountains and oceans, lots of small business, town, love, and family-owned businesses, which I do think is very true. I know I've seen, like, a ton of other real estate agents that are YouTubers that have done, like, pros and cons about their towns or whatever and a lot of people have relocated to those to those towns and so there's not a whole lot of culture but I do think that you know some of the businesses like McNabb's menswear who's next to us they've been open for 75 years which is such a long time to have a family owned small business you know and have it continue to thrive which I think you know not every town has and so that's one of the things that's super special about Ukiah and I do think like I've been trying to say um, it is what you make it you know if you go out to eat, you try new restaurants, you try new foods, then you're not going to be complaining about not having Chick-fil-A because you're going to be so glad that we have some of the restaurants that we do with some of the food options that we do. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it as interesting as I did. And as always, if you need anything, feel free to give me a call. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll see you in the next video.